Hello, this is Mohammed Shakil or uh, Shax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an M12 nut in Katia V5 in the Part Design Workbench. So, click OK, select the sketch, and uh, specify any of the plane. And uh, select once you click the drop down of this rectangle, you can see hexagon over here. Select the hexagon click on the center and uh, look over here so this uh, M12 nut a lot of people face a lot of problem creating this but it's very easy if you uh, make sure that you listen and uh, if you follow my video properly so M12 as it's M12 we should give 12 okay and um, come out of the sketch and give the pad as Click OK. OK. So you have your first image and uh, click on the body, insert body, and double click the body so that the body gets activated. Select this, click on the plane, and create a circle on the center. And click and select one edge and give the tangency. Click OK. So what exactly I'm doing, you'll understand as you see in my video. So you know that M12, you have a chamfer over here. To create this chamfer, I've created a circle inside over here. And you need one more circle, which will be, which will be outside this hexagon. So as you know, the M12 is having a... Um, inclination of 30 degrees so what you're going to do exactly is you are going to select this plane and click the sketch okay and select this particular circle portion and project it to 3d okay and I'm doing all these steps because I need to get a particular point which I can use for creating the plane so I'm selecting this eraser and I'm coming out of the sketch I'm selecting this plane I'm giving the plane I'm selecting this particular point so I've got a plane over there now I'm selecting that plane I'm selecting the sketch and now what I'm gonna do is I'm selecting this particular circle and I'm making it coincide with the point come out of the sketch so I have two circles over here so let me check once more so uh, one point that I forgot to mention over here you need the inclination as 30 degree as you know the inclination of chamfer is 30 degree so come out of the sketch so automatically the plane has arranged itself to that particular point so I'm selecting that plane circle is already made so what you can do now I use the multi-section tool to create a multi-section over there okay so you should be careful while doing the multi-section because the closing point should be on the same direction so you just click preview so that you'll get some error so what you can do a cancel and do that once more So click on this and click OK. So you have the first part. So what you need to do, you need to trim this. So body two, go to the Boolean option and select Union Trim. Okay, and select the faces to remove. You don't want these faces. These faces are not required. So I'm removing it. And uh, select the faces to keep. So the faces to keep are these so these are the faces to keep now I'll click the preview and I got the first end now I'll create one more body insert body so I created one more body I'm giving sketch and I'm giving the circle 
I'm taking the circle and I'm giving tangency over here once again. So it's the same drill as I can't do mirroring for this particular option, I'm doing this. So as I come out of the sketch, I'm creating another so here once again I'm projecting into 3D I'm clicking so it's the same step as I did previously I'm giving an angle so you, if you uh, refer uh, what is the inclination for the chamfer for M12 you'll find out it's 30, 15 to 30 so come out of the sketch no, I mean, uh, you need to do one more thing for getting the point. Okay, come out of the sketch. Select this plane and give plane. And click on this particular point so that you have a plane over there. Now select that plane, give sketch, and select. Make another circle. Select this point the coincidence come out of the sketch okay now use the multi section once again over here and uh, see the closing point and click on the closing point and click OK so once again do the same step that is go to the click the body 3 and go to the boolean option and give union trim okay the faces to remove are once again one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't feel that it's difficult, it's very easy. You just go through my video and try to do exactly what I'm doing, and uh, you'll find out the second time you do, you'll be an expert at it. So you have the M12 nut without the hole in the middle. So you select this whole option, click over here, and give the position sketch and over here you can select this point and this particular plane and give coincidence again from here at this point and this plane and again give coincidence so you have the hole located in the middle exact middle and give here up to next and type simple and the third definition is threaded and uh, this is dimension again this is metric thick pitch so you can give M12 which is what I require M12 and if you click OK preview you have your M12 not created so hope you like my video and uh, keep me subscribed and try to do this thank you